Nuclear war is one of the most terrifying possibilities facing humanity. The use of nuclear weapons could have catastrophic consequences, not just in terms of the immediate destruction caused by the explosions, but also in the long-term effects on global climate and weather patterns. In this video, we will explore the concept of nuclear winter, a scenario in which a nuclear war could lead to a prolonged period of darkness, cold temperatures, and crop failures. We will discuss the factors that could contribute to a nuclear winter scenario, the potential consequences for the planet, and the steps that can be taken to prevent such a catastrophe from ever occurring. So buckle up, and let's explore the chilling concept of nuclear winter. Estimates suggest that there are currently over 13,000 nuclear weapons in existence, held by nine countries, the United States, Russia, China, France, the United Kingdom, India, Pakistan, Israel, and North Korea. The United States and Russia possess the vast majority of the world's nuclear weapons, with each country believed to have around 4,000 nuclear warheads in their respective arsenals. Other nuclear-armed countries have much smaller arsenals, for example, China is believed to possess around 320 nuclear warheads, while the United Kingdom has around 200. It is worth noting that many of these weapons are much more powerful than those that were used in the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II. For example, the largest nuclear weapon ever tested, the Russian Tsar bomber, had a yield of 50 megatons of TNT, which is over 3,000 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Here are some general information on the concept of nuclear winter, its potential causes and consequences, and the current scientific consensus on the topic. Nuclear winter is a hypothetical scenario in which the detonation of multiple nuclear weapons causes a significant decrease in global temperatures and the disruption of weather patterns, leading to a prolonged period of cold and dark conditions. The concept was first proposed in the early 1980s by a group of scientists led by Carl Sagan, who argued that the smoke and dust generated by a large-scale nuclear exchange would block out the sun's rays and lower global temperatures. While the specific effects of a nuclear winter are difficult to predict, the scientific consensus is that the scenario would have significant and long-lasting impacts on global climate and weather patterns. Some scientists argue that the effects of a nuclear winter have been overstated, and that the concept has been used as a tool to promote nuclear disarmament. Others point out that the specifics of a nuclear winter scenario are dependent on a range of factors, including the size and number of nuclear explosions, the location of detonations, and the state of global climate prior to the event. While the potential consequences of a nuclear winter are uncertain, it is clear that the use of nuclear weapons would have catastrophic effects on global security and stability. The world has already witnessed the devastation caused by the use of nuclear weapons. The concept of nuclear winter gained significant attention in the 1980s during the height of the Cold War. At that time, the world was divided into two major superpowers, the United States and the Soviet Union, both of whom possessed large nuclear arsenals. The fear of a large-scale nuclear exchange between these two powers led to significant international tensions and the development of a nuclear arms race. The smoke and dust generated by the nuclear explosions would block out the sun's rays, leading to a nuclear twilight that would last for years. The potential consequences of a nuclear winter are severe. In addition to the immediate destruction caused by the nuclear explosions themselves, a nuclear winter would result in a prolonged period of cold and dark conditions. This would have significant impacts on global agriculture, with crop failures and famine likely to occur. The disruption of ecosystems and the loss of biodiversity would also be significant, with long-term impacts on the health of the planet and its inhabitants. The number of deaths that would result from a nuclear winter scenario is difficult to predict. However, some estimates suggest that a large-scale nuclear exchange could lead to the deaths of millions of people, with the potential for even greater loss of life in the aftermath of a nuclear winter. The long-term impacts on global health and the environment could also be significant, with widespread disease and contamination likely. The duration of a nuclear winter, if it were to occur, 
would depend on a variety of factors, such as the number and size of the nuclear explosions, the amount and composition of the debris and dust generated, and the state of global climate and weather patterns at the time of the war. It is difficult to make accurate predictions about the onset and duration of a nuclear winter because there are so many variables that could influence the outcome. However, scientific models suggest that the effects of a nuclear winter could last for years, or even decades, depending on the scale of the war and the amount of smoke and debris generated. Some models suggest that the initial cooling effect of a large-scale nuclear exchange would be relatively short-lived, lasting only a matter of weeks or months. However, the longer-term effects of a nuclear winter, caused by the accumulation of debris and dust in the atmosphere, would be more severe and long-lasting. This could lead to a prolonged period of darkness and cold temperatures, potentially lasting for years. It is important to note that the concept of nuclear winter is still a topic of debate and research within the scientific community. While many scientists believe that a nuclear war could potentially lead to a nuclear winter scenario, Others argue that the effects of a nuclear winter have been overstated, or that the specific conditions required to trigger such an event are unlikely. Regardless of the likelihood of a nuclear winter scenario, it is clear that the use of nuclear weapons would have catastrophic effects on global security and stability. It is therefore essential that we continue to work towards a world in which nuclear weapons no longer pose a threat to global security. This includes efforts to promote disarmament, reduce the number of nuclear weapons in existence, and work towards a world in which nuclear war is no longer a possibility. The consequences of a nuclear war and nuclear winter would be catastrophic for humanity and the planet. The destruction and loss of life caused by the initial explosions would be just the beginning. The global climate changes and long-term effects could make Earth uninhabitable for many years to come. It's important that we all take responsibility for preventing a nuclear war from ever happening. This includes advocating for nuclear disarmament and promoting peaceful conflict resolution. We must remember that the potential consequences of nuclear war are too great to ignore. We encourage you to take action and support organizations that work towards nuclear disarmament and peaceful conflict resolution. Together, we can work towards a safer and more peaceful world. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.